Hi there, it's Simon from Scan Pro Audio. I'm going to show you how to use some more of the MIDI effects from Ableton Live. This time, just concentrating on the arpeggiator tool. Um, it's just a really simple effect you can drag and drop in, and it helps you to play arpeggios, which basically mean if you're playing a chord and holding down uh, more than one note, the arpeggiator will pick those notes and play them individually. And you can set how often, how fast, that kind of thing. I'll show you really quickly. Um, I'm going to use one of Ableton's built in instruments. Uh, I've already chosen it, but I'll just show you how I got that. Um, under analog, I've basically chosen synth lead, and it's this one here, lead tensors, which is actually a, a monophonic, which means you can only play one note at once. So if I play this note here, I'm going to try and play another note it just moves on to the next one so it's not four chords um, but it's kind of like a synthy a synthy sort of sound now what I'm going to do I'm actually going to double click and create uh, a MIDI part but I'm actually going to play a chord in and I'll explain why shortly I'm going to play um, this note here there, and I'm going to play um, an E flat or D sharp there and a G which actually makes a C minor triad or a three note chord. I'm going to extend that for a full bar over to there. So now if I play this now it will probably only play just the, the bottom note because it's a, as I said before, it's a monophonic. So this is what will happen if you just play it. It just plays one of the notes. Actually the, it played the highest note. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the arpeggiator to play and pick these notes to play. So it's got a chord to play from. I'll explain by showing you this one. So the arpeggiator is going to play the individual notes and only play one at once. This is how you do it. So if I go back to instruments here, close that one, and I've got MIDI effects. There's arpeggiator. And if I just show you where it's going to go, it's going to go before here. It always goes before the instruments because this basically tells the instrument what notes to play. So if I drag this here, let go, and then this is the little box arpeggiator. If you've got your info view there, it can tell you what all these buttons do. But I'll just give you a, a quick explanation. If I press play now, what it'll do is it will play um, at the rate of an eighth note, which is a quaver to any musicians there that know the the musical divisions but if I press play there what it's doing is it's playing through the notes of the chord are arpeggiating and for every eighth note it's moving up those because we've got it set to up and it's going to go C E flat G C E flat G and repeat that over and over now there's a few parameters you can change here which can make quite a difference gate basically lets the note through and the more you have it open, the more the note comes through. It's like a little MIDI gate. Um, if you look there, it says sets the length of the notes in the pattern. Um, so if I just press play and move the gate, listen to the difference. So the more you have it open, the more you have it open, the more of the note you hear. And the more you close it, the notes become more staccato. Depending on what you're after, move it around. Now, if I move the rate now, the rate will now, if I literally double the amount of speed by taking to 1 16th, so semi quavers, I'll put to 1 16th. And again, that's using still the same pattern. That's using 16th notes. Now, at the moment, it's only going, the style is up. Now, you can make it go up or down, up and down, all different combinations. So I'll just play through some of those so you can see what happens. So again, it's the same chord. Also, add a different groove to it as well. I'm going to put it on up and down and change it to a swing. So you can basically add some groove to it. Now, to 
get it to try and work, I'm gonna put um, put a drum loop on so you can hear what it sounds like when it's, it's played along with something that you may be working with. You could just put the click on, but I'll, I'll just use a, a drum loop. Um, just try this one, which is just, um, in fact, I don't even need to drag it in. I could just press play and click that. So now I can try this. I can change the gate. Put that straight. Anything you want there. Now what you can also do is where it says steps here, you can change the range of the octaves at the moment is only playing these notes here. But what this button does, steps, is it'll play into different octaves as if you were playing it higher up on the keyboard. So if I press this now, I'll move it to two. All the way up to here. So basically this works with anything that's in the MIDI clip or it can do it just by playing it live. If I just pull the key down now, that's just one key and it's obviously only got one note to play so as soon as I hold another note down, this is a C, and I hold a G down it will alternate between those two notes. So there's many, many combinations. I've only just gone into the, the basic buttons there, but those are the ones that will probably um, get you going so you can work with uh, whatever style of music you're working with and whatever sort of sounds you want to use as well. You can try this on strings, piano, any kind of sound. Just experiment with it and you know, let me know what you come up with. Uh, any questions, just send them to the, the blog or Facebook or Twitter, all at Scan Pro Audio. Thanks for listening.